The allegation posted on the union's website didn't have many details. And the union said in an emailed statement, it wouldn't comment as it goes into mediation this week. But the online post accused the territorial government of demanding a letter of understanding that would open the door to contracting out all of the GNWT's 2100 healthcare workers. The union says that's one of the only things standing in the way of a new collective agreement. A spokesperson for the NWT Department of Finance says the territory is engaged in the bargaining process and won't comment on it. The territory paid $5.2 million to agency nurses last year. These are nurses that work for a private company who are paid significantly more than those employed by the territory. A memorandum of understanding in the current collective agreement allows the government to hire agency nurses. Both the union and the government initially signed off on that memorandum in 2004. They agreed to renew it during COVID. It allows the territory to hire agency health workers as a last resort. The spokesperson for the territorial government says that agency nurses make up less than 1% of the territory's total 2,100 healthcare workers. The health minister said in a previous interview with CBC News that agency nurses are used as a last resort and that the choices are to hire them and pay more or to cut services. Luke Carroll, CBC News, Yellowknife.